Hello. So let's look at activity 12D. The question says create an image advertising the Tawara Elephant Orphanage using the images elephant.jpg and text3.png. Place two copies of the elephant image like this. So, of course, the picture. Uh, group these two layers. Add the text so that the image looks like this. So, we just want to achieve uh, what we have in, in the image below, right? So, what I'm going to do is to locate the file, the elephant.jpg, right, from the source folder here. So, this is elephant.jpg. Now, I will, I will right click on it and open with Jim. Okay, so I'm going to go to open with Jim. Okay, so it's open down here. So the, the, the first thing I want to do is to make the image. I want to flip the image. So I'm going to go to uh, image here. So I want to transform it and flip it horizontally to be facing the other side. Uh, the next thing is to scale down the layer. So I want to go to the layer and then right click on the layer, go to scale layer. I want to re reduce the width half, which is 1000, since it's 2000 pixels. So I want to reduce it to 1000 pixels. So it's going to look like this. So I'll make sure that I click on the move tool and then move it to the right here and leave it here. So I want to add the image again. I want to add it as a layer. Okay, so open image as a layer. I want to actually, okay, so the image is selected. I want to open it right again. So this time around, I want to just scale it. Right click on the layer, scale it down to 1000 without flipping. So I want to scale it down. So I actually want to take it to the right facing the other one here, right? So I want to make sure that they overlap a little bit. So by holding down the control key and then moving the, the mouse wheel, you want to zoom in to be sure that they are all together, okay? So I want to move this one an inch, maybe a tiny bit to the right, something like that, just to be sure that they overlap each other. Okay, so now they're facing each other. So the next thing I want to do is to bring bring in the text. All right, so I want to bring in the uh, text here. All right, uh, so I'm going to go to file again, and then of course open it as a layer so that it will fall in as its own layer. So I want to open it. Good. So of course the text has fallen in the way I actually want it. Right. Now. Um, I want to actually crop the the images so that they will look like what we have in the picture because of course the background the check the check background they're all there. So I'm going to actually go to image. I want to crop image to content. So when I click on crop image to content, so the image will fit in within the space it has without having the check uh, background, right? Okay, so so we've, we've achieved what we have in the picture here. So the next thing is to save our work as activity 12D uh, .jpg, right? So I'll go back to GIMP. So go to File, from File, Export As. Now I want to save this in my work folder. So I want to save it as... Uh, activity 12 activity 12d 12d.jpg so uh let me just uh, pick the file extension here file type i want to get down to jpg where is jpg right here have i passed it the jpg so that's it right there so i'll click on that and then of course i'll export I'm going to, of course, leave it as the original um, resolution and then export it that way inside. Uh, let me be sure where I saved it. It looks like I, I, let's see, okay, it's not here. So it should be within the work folder here. Where is it? So that's it here. Activity 12d.jpg. So I can actually open it. Let me just open it to see how it looks like. So this is the image here. 
So it looks pretty okay the way it is needed. All right, so I think that's about it. So is there another thing attached? Mm, not really. So that's about it. So thank you so much for this one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.